My name is Yin. Welcome to Yin's Tennis Lessons. Today we are going to learn how to do the backhand drop shot. But first, before we begin, you have to know why it's important. The backhand drop shot is so good because you can disguise it by making your opponent think that you're actually doing a backhand. But at the very last second, you switch to the drop shot. And that will put your opponent in a bad position because your opponent won't have time to run all the way to the net. Now you know why it's important. Let's begin. So first, you do a little hop called the split step, and then you turn into your pose and keep your racket up. And like a phone or walkie-talkie, you lean it against your ear, but not totally against the ear. And make sure your chest is facing toward the side of the fence. And make sure that you see an invisible little shield right here. And then you step for, forward with your right foot and then go into your contact point. Here's a tip about your contact point. The contact point shouldn't be like a frying pan or like a forehand contact point. No, it should be 45 degree angle right in between. And then step forward with your other foot and end like this. But don't hug anybody, no. We're ending with the racket down and keep your head down. Okay, I think you got it. Let's do some demonstrations. And remember, use your knees. And keep your racket high. And remember, don't hug anybody. Make sure you want to end with the racket down. This is what you shouldn't do. You don't want to slice at it or push it. That's what it will look like when you push it. Here's what it will look like when you slice at it. Then, then the ball won't go anywhere. That's not what you want to do. You want to do this. Like that. Don't push it or slice it. You want to make sure that the ball goes right over the net. Well, not right over, just close to the net. Like this. High into the air, then over the net. Close to the net. Make sure that the ball goes right over the net. Keep your racket up. Remember to keep your head down. Then the ball will go where you want it to go. Like that one. Make sure that the balls go high, but not too high. Or in other words, too deep. That one. And that's how you do the backhand drop shot. Thank you for visiting Yin's Tennis Lessons. I hope you practice this shot when you have time. I'll see you again for more lessons. Bye.